Hello and welcome to a Cemetery Sunday. I am in Micanopy and this is the Haynes Memorial Cemetery. Walking into the cemetery It's not a very well upkept cemetery. Very grassy, lots of holes. Some of the graves are almost just buried beneath the ground. Ooh. Let's hope that's a deer bone, not a person. Got some of these graves here. Let's see the age. Solomon Woodard died in 1981. So it's not seriously old. And the graves kind of roll down the hill. This place is kind of on a moundy type hill. This must be the Woodard family. Woodard? Uh, she, Sally Woodard, died in 2003. And I did a little research before coming around the area. And um, this cemetery, I guess, actually is a historic African-American cemetery. So it's been here for quite some time. Look at this area out. Some graves here underneath the azalea trees. Can't even see what the, uh, it says anymore. But I bet that was really nice when they were blooming a few months back. Really nice though. All the trees are mature, grown up. Really nice area. Look at this area. Oh, somebody swept all the leaves away. Definitely kept it very nice. Especially since this is a Easter Sunday edition of Cemetery Sunday. So everybody's probably getting everything nice tomorrow. A lot of people are probably gonna visit. Look at this area. It's like rows of flowers, but there's no headstones as if somebody was buried here. Oh yes, yeah, the bushes are taking over a lot. But this must be the Lotson family. In their little area. Cut through over here to the next row. And watch out for ticks. I've already I've already had a couple ticks on me just from getting out of the car and walking around. A little crazy, you know, but looks like the Peyton family and their grave their plots are underneath all these these grown up hedges. Really shady. Looks nice though. Yep, the Clayton family. Ruth Lee Rochelle. Died in 1997. This must be the Rochelle family. Yep, a lot of Rochelles here. Hunt, Garmin. More Rochelle. And it's crazy because just down the road, 
you know, there is a town called Rochelle. Look at that grave. That is something right there. With pictures. Never seen one like that. That's nice. Oh, and all the flowers. Wow, somebody really comes out here and takes care of this. We got all the tulips and the orchids, lilies, blooming. Somebody definitely take care of that one really well. I'll hop over to the other side. Got some older looking graves. Over here. Underneath the leaves. Let's see. Eliza Preston, 1885 to 1937. So yeah, 1937. You know, pretty, pretty old. Pretty old there. Some of these, they just, they kind of look forgotten about over here. Clean it up so we can see. Eusenia P. Stewart. I think it says 1899 to 1980. Wow. Yeah, so all different times. But it seems like a lot of the families have their own areas, you know, or family plots. So that's cool. Yeah, here we got one. It looks very new, but... Jack Willie George Davis, 1983. Somebody's kept his really nice. Looks like it's freshly painted. But yeah, this cemetery, it goes pretty far back. I mean, it's not too far, but it's... It's a very long and slender cemetery. And all the graves, mostly, are like above ground. I've always read that people did that long ago because they were scared of it flooding. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe when it flooded, the bodies, the coffins popped up and floated. I don't know. Whoa, this spot. It's hard to see. There's graves. Then there's a hole, a diff right here. And what happened if I stepped in it? Oh, it's soft. And then there's a really... Oh, I'm gonna have to step in it. Let's try to get over to this grave. That's... Jeez, it's all in the... Just woods, kind of overgrown. But this one... Man, I can't even read that. Cannot read it at all. They have a little... Sun. Nope. Cannot read that. No idea what it says. And there's still more, more graves all in here and they're all just totally covered, grown over. Wow, the mosquitoes are tearing me apart out here. There are so many mosquitoes. Oh, this, this one. This looks like an older one, because usually you don't see this anymore. Where uh, it's like they put the, they have a little foot stone, and then they have a headstone, and then the headstone, this, I don't see any words. Okay, it's on this side. Wow, can't read it, but it looks like they 
died in August 1913. And here's what looks like, I'm not sure if that's where it's supposed to go. We'll read it. Ah, uh, died. 19. Oh man, I can't tell if that's supposed to be there. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it back. Because it was laying just like that. I thought I'd help it out and maybe stand it back up where it belongs, but I don't want to put the wrong name in front of the wrong grave. That's just wrong. Walk out this way a little. You're like, what is, what is this thing? Oh. Looks like it's a, it's an old water, old well, old pump. Oh, that freaked me out. I saw in the wood line over here. It's down over there. I almost thought that was ribs, like a rib cage. Because you never know. You never know out here. Especially in some of these cemeteries that are old and no one really takes care of them. Oh, I'm trying to clean this one off. Kind of under the trees a little. But it's just covered in leaves. Let's clean it off. Huh, that's crazy. Their name is Asbury Stewart, September 10th, 1942. Asbury. That's a strange name. Right next to him is Olive Stewart. Died in 1941. Olive and Asbury. That's cool though. Oh yeah, getting over here in this area. You can tell it's definitely older. The headstones are gone. Then you have some more of these old triangle shaped ones right near the wood line. You know they're old when they're right against the woods. Some more graves. You, you just really can't even see what it says anymore. It's just the concrete they used. It's just deteriorating. We love you died in 1945. Oh, gross moss. Can't see the first name. Last name, Bell. So Jackson's here. Go around the azalea bush this way. more graves that are hard to read again or a Whitfield died in 1909 looks like she was born in 1907 though not that old John Bank John Banks with an S he died in 1992. So yeah, wow, that's not really that old to look that old. Oh, back here. This is this is a cool looking little grave here. Henry Phillips, 1880 to 1955. I like the coloring of it. Way it turned like black and gray, a little white. That one. K. 
can't read what it says. It's not on the back. Nope. Nothing on the back. Yeah. Matilda Carter, 1976. Check this side over here out. Get into the back now. We've got Amy Lee Floyd. That's a really nice little plaque. Died in 2004. Love. And over here we have Florence Jones. Died in 2003. All people that must have lived in this small town. Now to the very back. Not sure, does it get older? No, not really. It's Jeff Love. 1907 to 1988. Cool name, Jeff. But he's something that he was a very nice person and he loved everybody. Oh. American flag. Fallen. Oh. Let's go ahead and we'll poke that back in the ground for him. Wonder if that is somebody's grave. Yes. Oh, and I put it for the right person. Fred Thompson Clemson, U.S. Army, Korea, 1929 to 1996. So that was probably definitely his flag. And then Maud Clemson died in 2000. So this is the Clemson little area over here right in the back along the wood line looks like there's one more row Ooh, this is a freaky one is that wood no that's it's concrete it looks like a piece of wood but it's concrete no name can't read it anymore but then right next to it you have the same blue blue concrete and let's see is there a name no not anymore on the little plaque it's gone right on the back side of the cemetery Wow, Willie Reese died on March 7th, 22. This is the Reese family over here. Prezi, Prezi Drummer, 1904 to 1991. And Frank Drummer, the second, died in 1989. Look at this little grave over here by itself. Weird hole in the ground. It's like it's sinking. But the Sykes. Dan Sykes and Maddie Sykes. Dan died in 1942 and Maddie in 1955. So wow, yeah, that's, that's been there for quite some time. Christine Williams, 2011.
Lots of graves over here in this little area. Very colorful. You have the pink, pinks, blues, pinks. Okay, maybe for man, woman. Irene Logan, 1998. Sarah Woodard, 1998. Sarah Logan. Okay, so maybe she's the same person as 1998. George Woodard. Yeah. Then there's a couple more over here along this wood line, power line trail. Oh, what is this? Is it old? It's like an old, it's an old pot. That's neat. Old metal pot. Oh, another one. It's pretty old looking. The ground is sinking and I'm walking in their little plots here. Let's see who this is. Got Nancy. Nancy Lee Hodge, 1905 to 1971. Oh, another one. I don't know if you can see it through the camera or not. But the ground is, it's, it's sunk. The ground is sunk in. And that says its last name was Nathaniel died in 1993. Then you have Francis May Guy, 1995. He's in God's care. Oh, it's this on the ground. Oh, it's another grave. It's like, it didn't even look like anything here, but. Oh, there's a grave. Amanda Francis Guy. And she died in 2007, was born in 2004. Wow. So she was pretty young. And there's sinking holes everywhere here. I mean, there's holes everywhere. And I bet where there is a hole, there's a hole there, there's a hole there. I bet where there is holes, there's probably a grave inside. Yeah, you can see how the the ground, it just has a hole there and a hole here. Probably once had the little badge to say who was buried there. But as time went on, they were probably just forgotten about. Let's talk about those holes. Here's a, here's a strange hole. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And that's like a real hole. It looks like somebody dug. But there's no telling if there was a body there and it was dug out. Never know. Thanks for joining me here at the Haynes Memorial Cemetery in Micanopy, Florida. See you guys next time.